Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? From what we are given here, we can write this as 5 raised to power 6 plus 1 and minus. Here, minus is can be written as minus 5 minus 1. Then, from here, also apply the law of indices here. We can separate this as 5 raised to power 6 times 5 raised to power 1, which is also 5, then minus 5, minus 1. Then here, yeah, let's group this together. Then we factor 5 out. So here we have 5 into bracket. Here we have 5 raised to power 6 left. Then minus, here we have 1 left. Then minus 1. Then from here also we can write 6 here as 3 times 2. That is here this becomes 5 into bracket. 5 raised to power 3. Then raised to power 2. Then minus. Also here we can write 1 as 1 square. Then close bracket minus 1. Then from what we have inside this bracket follows a square minus b square which give us a plus b then into bracket a minus b that is here we have 5 then into bracket we have 5 raised to power 3 plus 1 then we have into bracket 5 raised to power 3 minus 1 close bracket then we close bracket minus 1 that is here, 5 raised to power 3 is simply 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. Then plus 1 here. Then multiply by, also we have 125 minus 1. Then close bracket minus 1 here. And here, this gives us 5 into bracket. Here we have 126 times here we have 124 then close bracket minus 1 and also we can rewrite this as 5 into bracket here we can write 126 as 100 plus 26 then also we have times as another bracket 124 as 100 plus 24 then we close bracket minus 1. Then here, when this open this bracket, this gives us 5 into bracket. We have 100, we multiply first, that's 100 times 100, then plus 100 times 24. Then we have also plus 26 times 100. Then we have plus 26 times 24, then close bracket, then minus 1. Then next, from here, when this multiply, we have, here we have 5 into bracket. 100 times 100 give us 10,000. Then plus, here we have 2400 then plus 2600 then plus here we have 624 then close bracket minus 1 then from here when we sum this together here we have 10,000 then plus 2400 then we have 2600 then we have 624 so the sum here is give us 4 then here we have 2 here we have 16 5 6 then carry 1 to this place here we have 4 then plus 1 that's 5 then we have this 5 here. 
So what we have here now we come five into bracket. We have fifteen thousand six hundred twenty-four. Then minus one. So when we multiply this by five, then we have this times five here, and this gives us five times four here. We have twenty. Write zero. Carry two. And here we have five times. So here that's 10 plus 2, that's 12. We also write 2, carry 1. Then we have here 30 plus 1, we have 31. Write 1, carry 3. And 5 times 5 here, that's 25 plus 3, 28. We write 8, then carry 2. So we have 5 times 2, that's, I mean 5 times 1, that's 5 plus 2. That's seven. So that gives us seventy thousand one hundred twenty, and that means here we have seventy thousand one hundred twenty here minus one, and which gives us seventy eight thousand one hundred eighteen from here. So here we have the simplified form of this given problem. That is, what we have here. Is simply seventy eight thousand, then one hundred and nineteen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. See you next class and bye for now.